I don't know if any of you guys know this, but metal, death metal, death core, metal core, all the different subgenres of, of metal. I, I like most of them, pretty much all of them. Um, and the reason I say this is because there are, I'm going to talk about five different albums that are going to be dropping this, this, school, this school year, this year uh, of 2011. And so far, I have, like I said, I only have a word of five. And the first one that's on the list is Speaker of the Dead by Amir, which is going to drop next month on the 15th. And it's going to be dropped off. It's going to be a, a record from Victory Records. And it's looking like it's going to have only 15, 15 tracks on the record. And myself, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this this album to come out and this album to drop. I haven't heard anything from them since 2009, which is kind of cool that they're coming out with a new album. Um, the next one is Devil Driver's Beast, which is going to be uh, released February 22nd, 2011. It's going to have 12 tracks, and it's and the label that's going to be uh, distributing this record is Roadrunner, and Roadrunner is famous for having uh, many may, big named metal bands that I like to recognize as there, there's Slipknot, there's there's uh, Meatloaf is one of them, and bands like that, and, and people of that sort, Stone Sour is another one, Trivium and stuff like that. Um, the next one is going to be The Human Romance by Darkest Hour, and that one's going to be released on the same day as, as Devil Driver's album. and the label for that one is called E1 or E1 Music and it looks like it's going to have 12 tracks on the on the record and one bonus track and that one bonus track I don't know if it's going to be from iTunes or if it's going to be from just the different if it's if it's like an a Best Buy special edition to get one extra track and stuff like that or you know that whole thing um, the next one is going to be a band that I like to that I like, but and they fit the the metalcore genre and they're one of those bands kind of like Attack Attack, the the American Attack Attack, um, that have metal with elements of of techno thrown in there a little bit, and their new album is called Reckless and Relentless, and they the only word I have is that it's gonna have 13 tracks. It's going to be dropped from Sumerian Records, or Sumerian, yeah, Sumerian Records, and it's going to have a release date of April 2011. No actual set date. Um, and the last one, the fifth one on the on the list, is going to be In Flames. In Flames is one of my personal favorites. They have their, they're in that melodic death metal genre, one of the subgenres of death metal, and it's. And I, if you haven't heard them and you and you would like to, I recommend go check them out on YouTube or whatever, or download a couple of their songs and see if you like them. If you like them, go see if you can find the rest of their music. And theirs is going to be called Sounds of the Playground Fading, and there's not been much word about how many tracks there's going to be on that one, and the label hasn't even been confirmed, and... It used to be Nuclear Blast, but now they're it, it's saying that it's not going to be that that record label. But those those are five of the bands, five of the records that I'm looking forward to this 2011, and this is in the next few months. And if there's any other music or any other bands that you think that I should talk about, this is going to be one of the one of the two things that I'm going to be doing on here, which is going to be talking about this music or or metal in general and also another thing that I want to start talking about is new gadgets and, and shit like that I like portable devices portable devices have always been a favorite of mine also I could just I can talk about it I can't show you anything about them but yeah those are the things and those are the five records that I wanted to talk about today and there's also going to be more updates of 
this year's Mayhem Festival to that, well, this year's Mayhem Festival, and the set list had been pushed back from the 26th to the 31st for when they're going to release that, and I'm, look, I'm looking forward to that, and those are going to be a few of the things that I'm going to be talking about here on this channel, the other videos, if you want to go watch them, they're just random, just talking, mostly, but there's this one, and the last one's going to talk about my last video talks about how the, a little bit of uh, Sony's new PlayStation Portable and Nintendo's 3DS. I go more in depth in the PlayStation Portable only because everyone has really heard about everything that's going to happen in the 3DS with the 3DS. And well, there's that. And if you want to see more, or if you want me to do more talking about music and those kind of electronics let me know in the comments hit the button up there and let me know and I'll uh, I'll put links to those bands in the description and you can go check out their pages or whatever if you feel like it and yeah you guys have a good one